here we go. We're doing it. It's happening. Oh, I'm live. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're back. Are we back? Please. Tell me we're back. Tell me we're back. Is it live or what? What's going on here? Oh, I think we're live. Oh, okay. Give me a second, guys. I gotta get situated here. This is exciting. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna pull up my uh, my my chat right now. See, I don't know if you guys were were there. Some of you guys may be coming from uh, the the old cast that I tried to attempt to this one. I don't know what was going on. I was trying to make a, a live cast on my computer, but apparently that's harder than it than it seems. Um, I don't know why, but YouTube makes it impossible for you to live stream on a computer. I was gonna I was gonna try out this new mic. Maybe I'll still talk into it, even though it's not like plugged in. I'll just still talk into the mic. Um, I was really stoked about this thing, but YouTube sucks. Like it sucks so bad sometimes. So I'm gonna do this off my phone. Hey guys, how's it going? What's up? It's great to see you. Oh, how's it going? I'm I'm glad you're in Springfield, Missouri. It's it's a lovely place. I've been there a few times. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna pull up the chat. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up the chat on my computer, and we'll get this we'll get this live cast started off with a bang. We won't be too long on this. It's late here in Sweden. Oh, by the way, I'm in Sweden right now, in case you guys didn't know that. Um, it's around 11.46 p.m. and I gotta wake up at the crack ass of dawn to catch some fish, some fishies. So I'm gonna make this short, sweet, and to the point. I'm gonna answer some of your guys' questions and I'm gonna share with you guys what I've been up to in the past few days because there's been a lot going on here. Um, also, sorry if I'm whispering a bit. There's people sleeping. I'm in a little hotel right now, so I don't want to wake anyone. I'm sure I'm pissing someone off right now by my live streaming, but hey, it's for the viewers. You guys are way more important than me getting kicked out of a hotel. But uh, bear with me as I pull up this live stream. Wow, YouTube. Wow. Just, you continue to amaze me and disappoint me every single day. It's, it's, it's quite impressive. Okay, come on. Figure it out. Um... Here we are. I've got it pulled up. Gorgeous, beautiful. So I can look at the comments over here. I don't have to look at my phone. Um, wow, CS Bass and thank you for or Bass Fishing. Thank you for the donation. That was very generous. That's gonna go straight back into my bank account after I've completely drained it <laughs> after spending um, five days in Sweden. Um, here I'm gonna position the camera more this way so it doesn't look like I'm looking away from you guys. I'm gonna put you right above the the comments as they're rolling in. Um, John Jay asked, what am I fishing for? That is a great question. Um, being that Sweden is very different fishing wise from the United States. There's a lot here that we don't necessarily have in the U uh, S one of which is redfin perch. And that's what I targeted today. Um, if you've ever heard of redfin perch, then you know exactly what that game is all about, but they're just like an incredibly larger, more aggressive version of, um, the yellow perch that we have in the States. Like a good size, like a decent size redfin perch is like two pounds. Whereas like a two pounder in the States is like a world-class yellow perch. Um, but uh, they get up upwards to like, I think six or seven. I don't necessarily know what the, the European record is or like the world record is, but I'm, I'm assuming it's like seven or eight pounds. A seven or eight pound perch. <sighs> Mind blown. Okay, um, let's answer some more questions. Um, how's it going, uh, Tyler? I, I hope Minnesota is treating you well. Have I ever been to Germany? No, I have not been to Germany. And in fact, I don't think I ever want to go based off the fact that uh, I heard recently today, and I don't know if this is true, if any of you guys are in Germany, let me know if this is true, that if you catch a fish in Germany, it is mandatory to kill that fish and to keep it. I had no idea this was the thing. It's kind of a bummer, actually. Their idea of it is like, if you catch a fish and you release it, that means you're playing with its life. Meanwhile, you can catch a hundred fish and keep them and throw them in the freezer, never eat them. And that's somehow okay. I don't know. I've got no clue. Um, still don't know why I'm talking to this thing. It's not plugged in, but it feels official. <laughs> um, do you know where Blackwell is in Glen Ellen? That sounds familiar. Is that in Indiana? Sounds familiar. Um, unsure. But, uh, by the way, if any of you guys do donate during this cast, uh, it's going to go right back in the videos. Um, I also want to start doing more, uh, charity stuff with these live casts too, because listen, you guys are very generous with the donations and I want to find a way that I can um, give back. So any money that is accumulated through this cast is going to be um, uh, donated to make a wish. How about that? Like, I I'm not going to profit off of any of this. Um, in fact, I think this is a cool opportunity to make some make some, make some dollars for Make-A-Wish and uh, raise some money. That's just a random thought I just had. Why not do it? 
Okay, because you guys already support me with my regular videos. So this cast, we're going to dedicate towards Make-A-Wish. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you guys do happen, I'm not asking for donations first and foremost, but if you do happen to donate, that's where the money will go to. Okay, onwards. Let's read some more comments. Um, yes, I'm in Sweden. It has been great the past few days. I have kind of laid low, but this morning I did do some fishing. The winter here is brutal. Apparently this is abnormally brutal. There's... Um, a lot of snow. We've got about two feet of snow, maybe a little bit more, a little less. Uh, Gabriel, thank you for the donation. Um, and um, it was kind of gnarly out today. The, the thing in Sweden is there's like this this weird phenom where um, phenomenon where like too much snow on the ice will press up some of the water from from under the ice, and that will cause a layer of water that's under the snow that's on top of the ice. Let's just say all of my stuff is soaking wet right now, so. Um, I'm drying that off currently. Uh, let, let us see. Wow, Gary, Patrick, if you could just not spam the chat, that would be fantastic. <laughs> um, what else we got here? Come on, John, I end up going to Texas and you're in Sweden. I'm sorry, dude. I, I apologize greatly. Um, I hardly am ever in Texas anymore. It seems like I'm traveling so much. Will I ever come to Michigan? Of course I will. In fact, this spring, I'd like to go um, back to Michigan to chase after the elusive in quite cunning bowfin, which I failed to catch this year. Oh, wow, look at you guys with the inappropriate comments, you know. These words, they're, they're not acceptable. Eddie Moser, thank you for the $20 donation that will be donated towards Make-A-Wish. Um, and for all you non-believers out there, I will write a check and I will post it um, probably tomorrow once all the revenue is available for, for me to see. Um, so I know how much I'm writing a check for and I'll throw in a little bit of of course, some of my own money too. Um, and then also you guys should, should suggest what donations or what uh, foundations I should donate to next cast because I don't necessarily want to focus on just one. There's some really great other, some other really great foundations out there. I just am a big believer in Make-A-Wish. Um, how's the doggo? Lucky dog is so good. She's back home with my parents right now. Um, huge shout out to my parents, by the way. Mom and dad, thank you for watching uh, Pupper, Pupper McGee. Um, she's grown a pound. She is the best little wiener dog I've ever seen, and I know that's biased, but I mean it. Uh, my actually, actually, my parents didn't even really think ever of having a wiener dog. They didn't think much of having a dachshund, but uh, after being with Lucky for quite some time, they're like huge fans now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, some of you guys are just blowing up the chat. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, come to Australia. Australia's a trip I will for sure take very soon. I, I plan on taking a trip there um, in the near future. I just got to figure out the deets. So once I do that, I'm onwards. going to go after some, some big saltwater fish. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Mm, just a lot of fast moving comments. This is a lot harder than I thought to read. <laughs> Slow down, guys. Give me a chance. Give me a chance one at a time. Oh, there's a, another donation. Uh, the conman. Thank you so much for the donation. That is very generous. I appreciate it, and uh, so does Make-A-Wish. Uh, we also had another donation. What, oh, I missed another one. Did I miss another one? No, maybe not. I don't think I missed it. A lot of come to California's, come to Kentucky, come to um, a lot of Minnesota. You guys are you guys are primarily from, from up north or either down south. Uh, okay, you know, I'm going to take a freaking... A, a, a second to just not read the comments for one split moment because my eyes are hurting. I'll just kind of like go into what's going on here in Sweden and why I'm here and um, what you guys can look forward to. Of course, I'm not going to spoil too much as much as I want to tell you guys as to what's going on. I don't want to be like, hey, so this and this happened and then you guys watch the videos and you're like, oh, wait, we already knew that happened. So um, first and foremost, I got here two days ago. Uh, I arrived via plane, of course. I didn't drive. That'd be pretty difficult. And... Uh, I went from Chicago, Illinois to Stockholm. I had a nine hour labor in Stockholm and then I landed in uh, uh, Lula. I, I don't know, I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. For those of you guys in Sweden, help me out. It's spelled L-U-L-E-A. I pronounce it Lula, which is incorrect, but I flew in there and then um, from Lula I drove, or I was taxied about an hour and a half north to this really crazy special hotel, which you guys will see in the videos. It's very, very cool. I did like a walk through the hotel. I'm gonna do another walk through tomorrow, but it's a little bit different content, so I don't know how you guys are gonna react to it. Just keep that in mind. It's very different. It's not necessarily fishing only content. Um, then this, then a long 
basically from the time I landed in Stockholm, I was uh, contacted by uh, Canal Gratis. Um, those guys over there reached out to me, uh, Tobias, and they were like, hey, we heard you're in Sweden, do you wanna fish? And I was like, yeah, I guess so. So they went and bought a ticket to my neck of the woods where I'm at right now. And they basically linked up with me this morning and we went fishing and it was like a lot of fun. I went fishing with um, the Canal Gratis dudes and also the dudes from Headbanger Lures, which make like big musky and pike baits. Very great people, awesome. They showed me around um, a little bit of uh, Northern Sweden and it has been just an A1 trip thus far. I, I'm I'm excited for tomorrow and the next day. We had a $5 donation from Sam. Thank you for the donation. That is um, really nice of you. Uh, we have the same problem with water. It makes fishing very difficult with our stuff constantly being wet. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Like it really was almost unbearable to fish today just because of how cold it was and there was water like up to my ankles or basically up to my like mid calf. Mid, th mid calf, not my mid thigh, that'd be really high up, my mid calf all day today. So it was a little gnarly, but it was worth it. And I caught some good fish. Oh, wow, look at this guys. Um, yeah, so again, I'm back at reading the comments and I can't even hone in on a single one because it's moving so fast. Uh, how about you guys ask me, um, just ask me like, a, like a, try to be like a specific question, something I'll catch and I'll try my best to grab it. And, uh, and, uh, and just like, instead of saying like, you know, come to, to Minnesota, of course, I, I will try to come to your home state. If you've got fish there to be caught, I will surely be there. But just ask me a question, anything, or just, you know, say, hey, I guess I don't really care what you guys comment. It's funny to read some of this stuff. And I also see some conversations within the uh, conversation. Oh, someone just said my mom is gay. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, although I don't think, I don't think that's the case. She seems uh, pretty straight to me. Hence why I'm here. <laughs> I don't even know why I read that one. That was just, that was awful. Uh, favorite fish. There's a great question. Who asked that? Sibyl. Is that how you pronounce your name? That's a great name. Sebel? Sibyl? Uh, anyway, favorite fish. Favorite fish for me. I don't think I could choose one, but if you forced me to, if you twist my arm, I would probably choose um, Giant Trevally. I've only caught two? I've only caught, no, I've caught three Giant Trevally in my lifetime. And that to me is just a very incredible fish. I'd also say the white sturgeon is up there is my favorite fish as well. Um, when I was up there, when we were up there recently in BC fishing with Kevin Estrada from Sturgeon Slayers, uh, that was a very unique experience because we caught quite a lot of sturgeon that trip. Not only were really, really big within Lake Sturgeon or uh, white sturgeon sta standards, but they were big for like fish in general. I think the biggest we got was like seven or six foot. That's a huge fish, but for white sturgeon, that's not that, that big. Um, so those are my two. I would say giant trevally and white sturgeon for sure. I'm going to move this lens up just a tad. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. All right. Um, Dalton Kellen, thank you for the $10 donation. Uh, I love the vids, man. Keep up the good work. And when is the meet and greet at Cabela's in Woodbury, Minnesota? That is a great question. I do not know, but, um, uh, you should ask favorite. I think it should be on a favorites website or their Instagram. All the details will be there and you can check it out. Um, it, I should know, but I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, I, I think it's, I think it's April or March. Don't quote me. I got no idea. Um, is the micro, is the microphone even connected? Um, oh, Farrell asked that. No, it's not connected. I, I just, I think it feels it's good to hold something to talk to. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really tired and I'm just, I'm like super, uh, wired right now in Red Bull. So I'm just trying my best to keep it together. <laughs> I've, I've gotten like a total of maybe eight hours sleep for the past three days. It's, it's been miserable, but also fantastic. Uh, who's my least favorite Guggen? Uh, I don't, I don't have a least favorite Guggen. I love all of them. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be crazy if I was just like, oh yeah, Flair sucks. I hate him so much. Like, <laughs> and like Flair watches this, which he probably wouldn't in the first place. But if he like watches, he's like, wow, thanks dude. Thanks a lot. Actually, I could I could literally crap talk. I could, I could smack talk Flair right now and he'd have no idea because I know for a fact he's not going to watch this. What if this whole like live stream was just dedicated to uh, talking mad smack to Flair? That'd be, that'd be pretty hilarious. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep reading some more. Um, what is your favorite dog? Dachshunds. Wiener dogs, 100%. Hands down. I love them. I also love Labrador Retrievers. I know that's super basic of me, but I do love labs. They're great pups. Uh, Alex G, thank you for the $2 donation. You're the man. Um, <laughs> someone said, yeah, flare blows. Yeah, I, I agree. Totally, 100%. No, I'm being funny. Don't take that literally. 
Um, <laughs> uh, what is my... <laughs> I'm not going to read that one. Uh, I'm trying to find a good one here, but you guys are just spamming hard. I love the spam. Keep the spam coming. Keep spamming. Never stop. Um, what happened to my Shimano deal? Well, it basically fell through and I no longer work with them anymore. And I'm, I feel well, I'm with a better company now. That's, um, basically, I feel like you could call it family owned. Is favorite family owned? I feel like it is. I know everyone at the, fa uh, the favorite company, um, from like the owner down to, um, everyone who does the packaging and shipping and who talks to you guys on a daily basis. Great people. Awesome people. And to be honest, I didn't know too many people at Shimano. I didn't know Mr. Shimano. I didn't have direct contact with him. And I felt like from a, from a future standpoint and a career standpoint, it was a better move to tag up, tag along with someone who I was comfortable with and who I knew that would um, be more interested in mutual benefiting relationship. I know that's like the most PR thing I can say, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Oh, $10 donation. Oh, that's from Dalton. I just gave Dalton another shout out. <laughs> um, oh, I saw someone said, they said slay both and that's nice. I love some, I love me some Bofin. Just never have caught one before. Uh, how's Gary? Gary, I'm sure is doing good. Last time I checked, uh, he's got like a thousand minnows in his tank. So when we get back, he'll probably look like a balloon. <laughs> uh, oh, I saw a good question. Um, uh, what do I do when I don't fish? And that question is from John Jay. I like that question a ton. And that's something I'm curious about what you guys do. Like, what do you do when you, when you don't fish? Because I know you guys is is people on YouTube who fish and, and like watching videos. Um, but to answer the question, I say, I would I'd probably say I, I watch a lot of movies. I love movies. Um, it's what's gotten me into uh, the whole YouTube thing. I, I love like classic movies. Um, I was actually just writing down a list of some of my favorite movies over the past 30 years that have come out in the past 30 years just now. A few, The 13th Warrior, uh, uh, Pulp Fiction, Jurassic Park, the original one, not any of these ridiculous Jurassic World remakes, although I do love Chris Pat, Pratt and the Jurassic World remakes. I just don't love them as much. Um, the Sting, Fargo, Big Lebowski, Pan's Labyrinth, Shaun of the Dead, The Untouchables. These are all like just movies I thought of tonight that I was, uh, I was thinking to myself, like I really liked and I wanted to remember them so I could watch them later. So I love movies. I love playing with my dog. I love hanging out with my family. Um, I love just traveling. Like road trips are so much fun. I actually enjoy road trips a ton. What else, guys? Uh, you know, I don't have too many other talents. I kind of suck at a lot of things, but I am good, or at least I think I'm good at fishing. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm the best at fishing. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw you guys off there. And I love editing. I do find a strong passion in editing. And I think that's the reason why I've been able to make this into a career because I, I love what I like to do. All right, I love what I do, basically. Um, Jack Zimmerman, thank you for the, for the donation. Very, very kind of you. Um, Jackson TJ5, be sure to follow him on Instagram. Ta Jackson underscore TJ5. Um, Jackson, you sent some pics to the Instagram account. If you did, my dad runs that account and he will most likely repost whatever you sent as long as it's like, there's like context. Like if you send him a picture of, a, of like, a, I don't know, like a basketball, it's probably not gonna get reposted. But if it's like something with the rigged gear, he will most likely repost it. Oh gosh, you guys, just loving, loving the comments, the steady stream, the flowage of comments are just streaming in, just trickling in. It's more of a, of a rush, honestly. It's not really trickle. How much does Gary weigh? I think he weighs about a pound and a half. I don't know exactly. Um, any tips for a young fisherman? This is a question from Addison Motto. If that's your last name. That's pretty sick. Um, Addison, to answer your question, tips for a young fisherman, I would say do as much research as you possibly can watch other anglers on youtube not just the guggen squad there's a ton of anglers out there who are very knowledgeable in youtube watch their videos absorb as much as you possibly can i learned primarily everything i know now um, about bass fishing through youtube through uh books through magazines also just going to tackle stores and like talking to people like i know that sounds weird but like go up to the owner or not the owner but you guys could go up to the owner go up to the owner of a, of a tackle store or go up to a manager at like bass pro shop or cabela's or someone who worked in the fishing section and just pick their brain you know tell them like you're going to go fish this like what would they suggest also find people that also love to fish as well find people that enjoy what you enjoy that's very important if you can't find someone that you um enjoy the same thing or if you have a mutual enjoyment um then it's tough to have fun doing it. it's always more fun to 
uh, do something with someone. I know that was very cliche, but it's it's the truth, you know? Hope that answered your question. Uh, I'm going to answer a few more. We're, we're nearing that 25-minute mark, and I don't want this thing to be too long. I know some of you guys got school tomorrow. Oh, actually, it's not that late right now. I just thought for a second it's late there, but it's not. It's like midday. Well, anyway, I know you guys got school and homework, and you got the... You got the stuff to do, so I don't want to keep you too long. Um, I'll answer like a few real quick, and then I'll dip, and I'll leave you guys be to enjoy your Tuesday. Is it Tuesday night? Enjoy your Tuesday night. Uh, Nicholas Thomas asked, did you play any sports in high school? I ran track for a year. I hated it. I did like half of football camp. I also hated it, and I sucked at it. Um, although I loved football when I was a kid, I was I felt like I was really good at it. And uh, yeah, that, that got in the way of fishing, so that went out the door real quick. DWS Outdoor said, are Xander on your radar? Not this trip, unfortunately, but I was talking to the Ken Algratis guys about it, and they said this is like a good place. Not this is a good place, but Sweden can be a good place for Xander. And Xander have been on my buckle since I've been like 15 years old. Like, I got to catch a Xander. Uh, why ever fish for perch in the Netherlands? Again, something we were talking about as well. I've heard Netherlands have ginormous perch. Um, the dudes today, the Swedish dudes today showed me some pictures of enormous, like, pig, like, like rugby sized perch. And I think I got to make it happen. So, um, what else we got? Uh, what's my smallest fish ever? Great question. I caught a, um, Creek chub one time. It was about that big, beautiful fish. Like definitely probably gonna have to get that mounted soon. <laughs> do I game at all? Yeah, honestly, uh, I do game, but not like how you guys would probably think. Like I'm not a big Fortnite kind of guy. I'm not a big PUBG guy. Not too hot in like Call of Duty or Xbox. You can hate me for saying that, but um, growing up, I, I loved my GameCube. I loved my PS2. I get very nostalgic, so I play those old games that I used to play as a kid. So like you know, Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion. Um, what are the games that was I really hot on? Uh, oh, Crash Bandicoot. How could you not love that game? I think they actually brought it back, didn't they? <clears throat> oh my God, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> socks or no socks? Socks, 100%. No socks are, are bad news, especially here in Sweden, since it's so chilly. Um, I'll answer a few more, and then and then I'm, I'm going to dip on out, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you guys be. Let's get some good ones. Um, yeah, all Nintendo games are the are, are the are the deal, Zach, 100%. Uh, some people asking about Peric sexuality. That's a question for Peric. I don't. I don't, I'm not gonna answer that question. I'm just kidding. Um, Xbox or PS4? I've got a PS4, so I'm just gonna say PS4. I'm not like hardcore into comparing or contrasting. Uh, where do I live? I live in the United States of America. More specifically, Texas. Um, come on, guys, give me something good. Oh, wow, there just goes a bunch. Uh, um, um, next tour, Bo Daniel T. asks this. Next tour is probably going to be this March. It's going to be a crazy tour. Um, it, it's 50-50. It may not work. It may work. It's going to be quite a full send. If there's something more than a full send, then that's what it's going to be. Very far up north, probably farther up north than I am now. For a fish that... I don't think you guys have probably ever seen before. I'm confident when I say that. Like, I'm going to fish for a fish that I highly doubt the majority of you watching right now have ever even heard of, let alone seen. That's going to be a crazy ride for sure. Um, I'm pumped for that. And it may not work, so don't get too excited. <laughs> or I'll answer one more question, and I'm out. Um, first impressions of Sweden. Who asked that? I'm sorry if I lost your name. Someone asked first impressions of Sweden. Oh, oh I lost it again. First impressions of Sweden. I like this place a lot. The people here are very nice, very kind and genuine. Um, no one's uptight. No one seems to be like very on edge. I'm not, I don't know if I'm just getting lucky and meeting nice people, but everyone I've I've come across and encountered have been uh, good people. You know, very genuine. Um, it's pretty cold. Not a huge fan of the cold, but it is gorgeous. I don't think I would. I mean, I'm sure it's pretty in the summertime, but I'm glad I came here in the in the winter when there's snow on the pine trees. You know, everything is very, like, very gorgeous in a, in, in a seemingly dead, kind of very cold, brisk landscape. It's past brisk. It's, it's literally below freezing. It's a negative 11 today. 
um, Fahrenheit, that is not Celsius. So I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of Sweden so far, and uh, I'm looking forward to catching fish these next few days. Okay, guys, I'm about to run out of battery. Thank you so much for watching today's live cast. I just wanted to give you an update, let you know what's going on. It's good to know that you guys are doing well, um, along with uh, me being in Sweden. I don't know how much uh, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna try to film, or I'm gonna try to edit a video tonight that I filmed in Illinois, and that should be posted tomorrow. If not, I'll be posted the next day, and these Sweden videos will be posted once I get back. So bear with me. Thank you so much for the patience. Um, as always, guys, be safe, have fun, and keep fishing. Never stop. How do I, oh God, how do I stop the live cast? Oh, this is just awkward. I was gonna punch the camera, and. Oh, there we go. Keep fishing, never stop.